Meet Octo, a 3D printed open source robot. I already have created few 3D printed robots. But this time, I don't want this on wheels. I have searched a lot and found this Octo, which is easy to 3D print and fully open source. Even you can create your own moves with this robot. Interesting, right? So let's build our Octo. All the required components comes around $60. They all comes in a packs and easily available on Amazon. We need one Arduino Nano, one Nano Sensor Shield, one Ultrasonic Sensor, four AA batteries or one 9 volt, one 5 volt buzzer, four 180 degree SG90 servos and few jumper wires. Let's see the step by step assembly process. We need two SG90 servo for our legs. It perfectly fits the bracket. Then secure it with the two pointed screw that comes with the servo motors. We want this cross clip that comes with the servo motor. To attach this into the leg, cut the upper part and a lower part of the clip so it perfectly fits into our legs. Then insert our other servo wire on the leg. and then attach the leg into our body servo. Attach Arduino Nano to the servo shield. Then attach left leg servo to second pin on the servo shield and right leg servo to the third pin. Attach an Arduino to compute. Install Arduino IDE software. Download this calibration script from the site and unzip it. Open this servo calibration script and upload it to the Arduino. Then the servo will automatically move 90 degree. Remove it and align it straight. This calibration is for proper balancing and functioning. After that, remove the Arduino. Secure both servo clips with a tiny screw that comes with the servos. Then insert the food servos to the right place. And insert a pointed screw to secure it in a place. Then join these clips to a servo and make it 90 degree center. Then remove the clips and insert it in the foot of the octo. Secure it with the pointed screws. Attach the foot to the legs. Take a buzzer and connect the wires to it. Same with the ultrasonic sensor. Attach an ultrasonic sensor to the upper part of the octo. Take a tiny switch and make a connection to our battery. Insert the battery into the body and also a switch in its place. Now it's time for connections. It's straightforward. Insert our four servos.
बजर टू पीन थर्टीन अल्ट्रासोनिक सेंसर एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कंट्रोल इट वाया एप देन इंसर्ट ब्लूटूथ मॉड्यूल For coding, we need to install an Arduino IDE software, drivers for your computer, calibration software that we have already downloaded, and important Arduino libraries for Octo. Unzip these drivers and install it. Connect Arduino to the computer. We already have a calibration script on our Arduino. The servos automatically align 90 degrees. Then open the servo calibration application. You will see the octo is connected. If not, then reinsert USB. Align each servos and save it. Now open the Arduino IDE. Click on Sketch, Include Library, Add .zip Library, and select the downloaded Octo Library file and open it. Also, you can download Octo Blocky and build your code for the Octo. Octo DIY Library and Octo Blocky are alternative methods for coding the robot. You can customize the robot's movements and behaviors through the code modifications, which make this tiny robot really cool, right? Open the library, examples, and select one of these. Let's go with avoid. Make sure your board and port is selected, and then press upload. After uploading, you can see the servos start moving. Remove the port, then power the octo. Octo starts to move. If he detects any object, then he will go back and start moving in a different direction. We have other codes also. Smooth criminal, happy birthday, and single ladies are pre-programmed dance routines for the Octo robot. If you want to control Octo via your Android smartphone, then there is a code called App. Insert it in the Octo. Make sure you have a Bluetooth module connected and download Octo Beta Android app on your smartphone. Then connect with our Octo's Bluetooth module to control with our smartphone. If you want your own moves, you can create code using that octo block and create your own moves. You don't have a 3D printer and still want this 3D prints? Well, JLCPCB has a solution. JLCPCB provide high quality 3D printing service at a very affordable cost. They offer 3D printing service like SLA, MJF, SLM, FDM, SLS. Also, they cover worldwide delivery. And ships order at your doorstep. Upload your 3D model and get it 3D printed at an affordable price. Check their service. Link is in the description. I have faced some errors earlier. I connected Octo to a 9 volt battery, but it was not moving. A little bit movement of servos and keeps restarting Arduino. Then I printed another body for 4A batteries. I have connected NIMH 4A AA batteries and rebuilt the Octo. Till the same issue might be a power stability issue i thought the servo shield had some issues so i ordered a new one again same problem then i have connected octo to a power bank and it works very well also while using octo via android app the app crashes and octo is not moving properly i have checked my connection but they are fine these are some errors 
I have faced while building Octo. Now it's your time to let me know any solution about it. Comment down and let's solve these issues. If I get any solution, I will make a short video on it. So please subscribe and stay connected. All in all, this tiny adorable Octo is really fun and interesting buddy. If you want an interesting project to improve your Arduino and 3D printing skills, I highly suggest you to dive into an Octo project. Also, this is not the last video on Octo. I will surely print Octo on Wills, Octo Ninja, Octo Spider 1. If you want codes, 3D files and other Octo material, check out OctoDIY.com and join Octo community. Stay tuned for more exciting videos. Until next time, happy printing.